I, I think something very significant has happened again in the wake of Afghanistan and the wake of Ukraine. Uh, the incredible aggression that they're seeing coming from China in the Taiwan Strait. Uh, the Japanese public are very sensitive to what's happening in the Taiwan Strait. The proximity of that to, to their own uh, landmass is very, very close. And I think there's a very clear sense that if Taiwan falls, Japan's going to be next on the docket for China. So there's been an awakening uh, in Japan. Prime Minister Abe worked very long on, on trying to change their constitution to strengthen it. Um, I think Prime Minister Kishida is in a better place than Prime Minister Abe was because of the shift in public opinion. And that shift has been brought about by the proximity of the threat uh, becoming increasingly great for the people of Japan. You just look at what's happening in the Senkaku Islands. It, it died down a tremendous amount during the Trump administration. That, that, that had calmed while I was ambassador. But the Chinese ships are right back in the Senkakus. They're putting pressure every day. Uh, they're sending their own warplanes very close to Okinawan airspace. I mean, Japanese, Japanese uh, SDF planes have had to stand them down. Uh, we've had you know, in increasing aggression. All of this is shifting the, I think, the philosophy and the mental preparedness of the Japanese to take on a much greater role from a national defense standpoint. 